The 4th of July is almost here, but will we get more nature's fireworks? Thunderstorms. Or are we going to get to be able to launch our own fireworks? Let's talk about the nationwide forecast for the 4th of July, especially in the afternoon and evening, where we've got chances for showers and thunderstorms in different parts of the United States. The dominating feature, or one of two features, first off is the jet stream. The jet stream's coming into California. It's pretty dry at this point, but then it's going to wrap up northbound towards the Canadian border. As it does this northwest to southeast trend from the northern plains right into the Corn Belt, that actually destabilizes the atmosphere. And so we're watching for several rounds for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of them could try to even be turning severe right there in the Corn Belt. And then in the southeast, we don't get as much of an influence from the jet stream. Yeah, it's still coming through, but it's going to be weaker at this point. But we've got a tropical wave that's moving in from the Gulf you know, Friday into Saturday, and then it's just going to continue to move eastbound, staying over land and weakening quite a bit, but it's still got a lot of moisture with it coming from the Gulf. We're expecting a lot of scattered showers. So let's just kind of do a region by region look. In the Northeast, I'll be honest, I think we're looking pretty good. We're going to get a cold front Saturday into early Sunday morning, and that's not really going to drop temperatures all that much, but it's going to help push out some rain. So we'll get some rain Saturday, just area wide. But then that'll all dry out. We'll have a lot of sun, I think, as we go into the 4th of July. Maybe a little bit more partly cloudy for your Monday. Rain chances should just be towards our west, more towards the Great Lakes, especially towards Chicago and back towards the west. In the southeast, scattered pop-up downpours and kind of reinvigorated by the tropical wave. This is the time of year, of course, we get several pop-up showers and thunderstorms that just bubble up throughout the heat of the day with the humidity. But because of that wave coming in from Houston, but it should be leaving by Houston by Monday for the July 4th. Uh, fireworks is probably going to be centered somewhere in southern Georgia, northern Florida, just kind of spinning around lots of pop up showers here and there. But the good thing is a lot of them will fade a bit. Not all of them, but some of them will close to sunset. So maybe that clears up the sky a little bit for some of us. But scattered showers, lots of humidity for the southeast. Of course, it's July, early July. The southern plains are interesting because we're going to be watching that tropical wave move on out. It's going to be more towards southeast Texas and Louisiana there for the start of the weekend. But as it pushes out, rain chances start to go down. But there may be still a, a quick pop up shower over Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma, maybe even east Texas as well as the whole thing lifts out. But overall, not a bad look. You have farther west, though, right into the southern plains. I think we're good. It's going to be hot, though. Uh, so the wind's coming in pretty much area wide and the humidity is going to be spiking as well. You head northbound into the northern plains. This is kind of the really the area to watch, especially when it comes to severe weather. What happens is when you get this northwest flow, they call it northwest flow weatherman's well. But when you get this, you get a big turning in the atmosphere and you also bring some cooler air in and that helps destabilize the atmosphere, gives us scattered shower and storm chances. I think they'll fire up mainly in the northern plains throughout the afternoon and then march their way south and east, heading in towards Chicago and Springfield, Indianapolis and South Bend later into the evening, getting closer to fireworks time. We may be able to quit some of the storms a little bit earlier in the day in the northern plains, still a couple days out with this forecast, but you've just got to look out. If you live in the northern plains or in the western Great Lakes region, there could be some storms firing up. In the northwest, there may be a few scattered showers and mainly in the mountains in Washington, northern Idaho, and throughout Montana, but you head farther south. Once you head south of Portland, south of Boise, I think we're clear and we're pretty much mostly clear, of course, this time of year in the desert southwest along the west coast. Barely even any clouds out there unless you live in the mountains. Now, there may be some monsoonal effects coming into the desert southwest, some of the mountains in New Mexico, Arizona, and Colorado. Uh, just a couple pop-up showers, mainly in the mountains, mainly throughout the afternoon. Otherwise, that's a look at your complete nationwide forecast for the 4th of July. Good chances for storms in the north, good chances for downpours in the southeast.